making a mark for this generation, past generations and future Australians together. It feels, it feels wonderful doing this. Over 20 years from the first Sorry Day, Aboriginal people are still living with the consequences of the stolen generations and white Australia policy. So I grew up not, um, not thinking that I was Aboriginal until uh, my family found me in 2006. For Noel, reconnecting with his Aboriginal heritage has been a big step forward. Now he's sharing his story with the next generation. I feel it's very important um, for, for people to, to tell their stories and to uh, you know, share, it with, share it with others and in the hope that other people will come out and, uh, and tell their stories as well. He's part of the Willem Warrain community on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. It's a unique group made up of Indigenous people from across Australia who come together to learn, have a yarn and connect with country. All mob, regardless of where they've come from, can feel safe, feel community and feel culture. This scar tree is part of recognising that culture, opened on Sorry Day as a place for remembering and contemplation. It's somewhere that they can acknowledge who they are, what they've been through, um, whether it be their story or their family's story. Um, it means that they don't actually have to discuss it or talk about it. It's there for them. This tree is only 50 years old, the blink of an eye in terms of Aboriginal history, but it's hoped it will continue to grow and expand to become an eternal symbol of healing and reconciliation for this community. This is their part of country when they can't get to it. Laying strong roots for a brighter future. Dana Morse, ABC News, Melbourne.